Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny Sunday. What is up? Today's video, I am back at the Your Belenza Savers. I've done this type of thrifting video before. I think I did it for like summer trends, spring trends, and also like the new year 2019 trend, which is trying to find the new season clothing trends, just because I wanna show you guys that you don't need to go to the mall to get like the newest, trendiest pieces. You can totally find them at the thrift store. Sometimes you can't, but you can get pretty darn close. So I just Googled what are some fall 2019 fashion trends. I found a bunch of different stuff. Some of them I think is going to be really difficult, so I don't know if I'll find, but might as well at least try it. First thing is feathers, which I don't think I've actually ever seen at the thrift store, like clothing with feathers. So we'll see how that one goes. Singe suiting with this one. I do have my own belt, so I think the biggest thing I'm going to be looking for is just maybe like a suit jacket and then just use my own belt to kind of like singe it in at the waist. The next one is satin, which if you go into the pajama section at the thrift store, you will most likely find a pajama pajama shirt that's kind of like a satin material. I feel like that one's probably going to be the easiest. Then asymmetrical tops and dresses. This one, I was like, oh, is it like off the shoulder stuff? But it's literally like maybe only one side goes down and the rest of the shirt go up, which I feel like that was really big in the early 2000s. And even probably like a couple years ago was really big. I don't think I've ever really seen that at the thrift store, although I haven't really had my eye out on it. So we will see about that one. It is no surprise that tops kind of like this one that are square kind of being inspired by by the Renaissance era is super big. I know for myself, kind of having my eye out every single time I thrift shop on L.com, it was like, climb down the balcony, like your name is Julia Cup. Cup Capulet. I haven't read Romeo and Juliet since I was a freshman in high school. <laughs> Obviously for most people, fall time is cold. Echelon coats is one of them that I actually saw quite a lot, which I know for myself, I usually try to, unless it's like a denim jacket, I try to almost get like one that kind of sits right at my waist. That way if I'm wearing like high-waisted jeans, it kind of gives me a little bit more shape. So it'll be really interesting to see how I could kind of style that. Weirdly, florals is one of the trends, but the difference is it's in dark floral patterns and they call it like the prairie dress. It's not particularly my style because I don't have too much of a bohemian style so I will try my best with that. The last thrifting trends video I did green was really big but it was a little bit more like a neon green whereas in the fall it's going to be more pistachio almost like a darker green. It said head to toe pistachio. I don't know how much green I can actually layer on with that specific shade but we will see. Everyone loves sweaters so why not just go extreme. They have nothing but knits. Literally it's like whether it's a sweater on top of a sweater or a knit bra under a car Again, the rule of thumb here is simple. The more knitwear, the better. So I have my trends. I'm just going to see how many trends I can actually thrift at the thrift store and try to create different outfits and take you guys along with me. So I was a little like, oh, I don't know if doing like fall trends video is too soon, but Savers is literally already starting Halloween stuff and today is August 22nd. So, so I feel like the timing is okay. I think I'm actually going to go into the Halloween section and see if they have any of the Victorian like shirts because I feel like that would be kind of perfect. And they have like different, just like normal items mixed in with the Halloween items. Ooh, purses. Okay, I can't get distracted. It's actually nice. Does not go with what I'm going for, but nice. I'd really hope that they would have like the more Victorian looking stuff, but they don't. So I'll probably try to find it in the other sections. It's bread. Bread. This is so cute. I gotta stay on track. I just forgot that I forgot my belt in the car, so I just grabbed one for trying on. And we somehow ended up in the sweaters first. Maybe. So what I'm wanting to do is do a cardigan over like either a short sleeve sweater or a long sleeve sweater that's really thin. That's like my goal. Maybe. Look at how cute that is, but no. I refuse to buy pink because every single time I end up never wearing it. Is this pistachio? I'm just gonna grab it just in case. It said more darker, but just in case. It was interesting to see like not a lot of the trends that were really big last fall going to be the big this fall which they may be big in like winter but kind of the chinlet okay i know someone's gonna correct me so i'm just gonna put it on the screen sweaters weren't on the trends at all 
And also I feel like a couple years ago, these like fuzzy sweaters were super big and, and now they aren't as much, probably because they realize how uncomfortable they are and how like static shocky they get, at least for me, I don't know why. I always get static shock and like shock myself, so. Okay, I know these aren't feathers, but it definitely gives me that like kind of look. I'm just gonna grab it just in case I don't find anything with feathers. This would be like my next bet. Ooh, okay, this one actually has that like square front. It's definitely not kind of like that Renaissance look, but it does have the square neck, which is kind of part of that. <laughs> Okay, I think I got the sweater look good. I think I want to go into the pajama section to look for a silk top or a silk dress just because I'm hoping that one will be the easiest. So this one, I was like, what the heck is attached to it? It is a robe as well, which is silk or like that silk material. So I think that actually would look really cool. Do, do, do. This white one, maybe. And I feel like that one I may just tuck into my shirt and make it more of a shirt versus a dress. The silk check mark. I used to be so scared to go into the pajama and lingerie sections. I mean, not for pajamas, but for looking for like silk dresses or like silk tops because I was like, I don't belong here. I don't know, but I'm feeling so much more confident nowadays to just like go in there because you can just find such cute stuff. And a lot of people don't even think about going in there to get actual like clothes. The next thing I'm gonna look for is a floral dress that's more of darker tones for the fall trend. I don't, I mean, I guess this one would kind of be falling along the line of that trend. I do want to find something that, that I would actually wear, which a lot of times I wouldn't wear floral dresses, so. Pistachio. And I'm also looking for it to be specifically a maxi dress because that's mostly what was shown in the articles. It's like a romper. But technically I did find that whole like asymmetrical top thing, but they're both like formal dresses. This one where like that actually has a sleeve and then the left side doesn't. And then this one as well, kind of like half. So, I mean, it gives me hope that maybe they actually have some more stuff that's not formal dresses. So I did end up kind of finding a dress that's kind of like a darker toned floral dress. We'll see how that one goes. I grabbed two. One of them's a little bit short. The other one's actually like maxi. I think the next trend I'm going to try to finish because I kind of found some other stuff is the sashu color. I kind of want to find some pants that are kind of that tone or like a skirt or I don't know. I just want to be full on green pistachio. Is this pistachio? I can't tell. Pistachio? I mean from the photos there were like different variations of pistachio shades so I think that's what my outfit is gonna end up being. Ended up already grabbing two suit jackets, one that's super long, kind of going with that whole like long coat look, and then the other one to like singe at the waist. So we are doing good. And I'm kind of grabbing other pieces to actually style with the other ones because I feel like it kind of defeats like the whole purpose if I just end up wearing like the jeans I'm wearing right now. Like I really want to actually create an outfit. I weirdly found something with feathers. I mean they're faux feathers obviously but didn't think that was gonna happen. So I definitely grabbed so much stuff and I'm hoping to make somewhat some cute outfits and I think I found all the trends. Even the feather one weirdly. Oh the asymmetrical one I did not find actually. I was almost there. This is the First look, it's just a silk kind of button up pajama shirt. I actually really like it. I did put a belt with it because it was way too like loose and kind of like not really flattering. So I think it's actually really nice. I just have my like sneakers because obviously, because trying to find shoes that actually fit is a challenge in itself. But this is the first silk look. I have a couple different more just because I actually was really excited about this one. I really like the robe. I think it really brings the whole look together. The only thing is like the lace definitely shows my bra. So if I were to like get this and rock it, I would definitely wear it without a bra. But altogether, like I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think it's definitely a cute silk look. It just depends on how like fancy you are. I wouldn't obviously wear this on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Honestly, at all, I would have to get a lot of courage to wear it just because it's so outside my comfort zone. So this is a two-piece pajama set and I think I could wear a shirt under this actual tank top um but honestly together it is so cute. The only thing is the shorts are insanely short like I would not be able to go outside like that 
just because I would just feel too much breeze on my butt. <laughs> if the shorts were just a little bit longer, I think I would like them a lot more because they'd be more like wearable out, but they are specifically pajamas. So I ended up putting this dress with the belt just because by itself, I don't know, it just kind of looked too straight up and down. And also I feel like it makes it a little bit more casual with the belt. Honestly, like I'm so tempted to actually buy this dress. I don't think it's necessarily fall because of the colors, but it is black then with the floral, which is kind of what the whole trend was about. And it fits perfectly. I, yeah, I really like it. So you can't see all of it because my lens is like a crop lens, but I got the kind of paper bag pants with this turtleneck. The turtleneck took so long to put over my head, apparently. I mean, I think I have a small head, but I am sweating so much. I didn't realize it has like this. Oh, this is the pistachio trend. And I got this to go with it, but it won't unzip, so I can't even like try it on for you. But I think I did pretty good. I actually really like this look. I would never think to kind of like pair different shades of green like this, but my eyes are green and they're like popping out right now. I do actually surprisingly really like this jacket. I like kind of this purple and I really like the colored pants. These pants though are so tight. It's the only thing and I didn't have a shirt to actually put under the coat, but I think it's a look. I really like, I'm feeling better about trying like longer coat. Can we also just talk about how I'm trying on all these like sweaters and turtlenecks like 85 degrees outside. I'm sweating so bad right now. Sorry for the sweat. I was like trying to put my camera on the cart to take a video of my outfit then a guy in the dressing room next to me like walked out and i just had like my camera and then i just slowly went into the dressing room i wonder what he's thinking i'm doing in here <laughs> definitely think i would probably get a different belt this one's just way too small and also the bottoms i'm really upset i really wanted to find just like leggings to put with it just because i felt like the top is the main part of the outfit but there weren't any in my size so i just have these like black shorts and not really feeling it i think i actually really like the belt around the jacket it just gives more more shape to the look. So this one, I just took this almost like sweater vest and then just put a cardigan over it. I feel like it's a very like attainable look for this trend because like, yeah, I would have loved to like sweater on sweater on sweater. Um, but number one, it's really hot. And also like nobody's really gonna do that. Whereas I feel like this outfit does kind of go. I would prefer a cardigan that was black just because I think it would look a little bit better with this tan color for this like sleeveless shirt, but I think it works. So I'm actually quite surprised. I really like this. Again, not really sure about this bright pink, but I love the kind of silhouette. It has the square and then these kind of puff out a little bit. I think it's because it is a large, so it's a little bit loose, but I think we did pretty good. I didn't know if I was going to be able to find the trend because I feel like, yeah, there's like once in a while I've been seeing this look. I'm really happy I found it in this video because it's more of like the Renaissance style. I also picked up this one, which kind of has a Renaissance like feel to it. I don't really like it, so I'm not going to try it on. I feel like this really captures that trend. And then for the last trend, it was the feathers. And honestly, I just wanted a black long sleeve. That's all I want, just plain black long sleeve. And I could not find one. And honestly, it's not really my style. It's not a trend I particularly like. So I feel like there's no point in me trying to figure out a cute way to style it when I don't think it's that cute, but if you do, that's totally okay. Technically, this is the trend, so I did still find it. Sorry, the air is on. It is so hot. I'm sweating so much after trying on all those sweaters and everything. I think I was in there for about three hours. Kind of my whole reason for doing this is to also kind of try out different trends that I wouldn't normally even try and kind of see which ones I actually liked. I think I do like the very long like coat. I wouldn't normally go for it, but I'm actually kind of feeling it. And obviously, the silk look which I already like so I kind of knew I was gonna like that trend. The long dress I was quite surprised that I liked. I didn't think it was going to look normal on me but I actually am feeling more open to kind of floral maxi dresses. And then obviously the trend with this square thing obviously I like. Let me know in the comments right down below which trend you're most excited for. I think I'm just like excited for sweaters especially since knitwear is being forecast as being like amazing which it always is in the fall but like just to be like hey yeah you can keep buying more sweaters. If you guys do like thrifting videos thrift hauls thrifting with me's make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter alex and 83 to keep up to date with me during the week i will see you guys on wednesday with a brand new video enjoy life be happy and i love you lots bye air air please air oh.